My name is Olivia Lamke, and I'm going to take you on a journey through one of Max Ferguson's most entrancing artworks. The artwork I'm presenting is called Time by Max Ferguson, and is exhibited at Crystal Bridges Museum of Art in Bentonville, Arkansas. Max Ferguson's interest in art sparked during his teenage years as he began creating hand-drawn animated films and eventually graduating with a degree in film from New York University. His concentration switched to painting while studying art in Amsterdam at the age of 19. He continued to be influenced by the technique, subject, and composition of the Dutch 17th century paintings and artists, particularly Jean Vermeer. Ferguson's work is inspired by occupation. The secret scenes of the city, painting a closer picture of the forgotten, the shop after the clothes, the quiet diners, and the bustling pool halls. He does this all like crafting a crisp and photogenic style that cannot be forgotten. Time depicts a moment of old world stillness a focused elderly man deeply invested into his work with the pride of craftsmanship in his heart and the world standing still around him. This painting takes place in an old clock shop in New York City that still exists today. Initially, Ferguson planned on painting the current owner of the clock shop, who is the son of the man in the portrait, but decided to paint the father to help better depict the passage of time. The man in the painting is a Holocaust hero and a very special man in Ferguson's life. This artwork life. is painted using oil on panel, which is a painting technique that uses pigments with a medium drying oil as the binder onto a wood panel. The composition of this piece looks cluttered and uneasy at first glance, but with a closer look you can see that the non-equivalent elements, paired with the equilibrium of lines and planes of the clocks in the background, create a harmonious yet asymmetrical balance that is quite satisfi satisfying. Ferguson uses a simple palette of color with various shades of blues, browns, golds, and yellows. His intent is not to distract or entice with intense bright colors, but to capture the natural realism of color in everyday life. The contrast of light and dark in this painting are used to create texture and realism. Psychological value of art often reflects the artist's beliefs and can impact the viewer of the art for life. A plethora of emotions may be experienced when exposed to an impactful piece of art. In Max Ferguson's time, a great amount of pleasure is felt upon first glance. The peace and stillness of the piece draws you in and soothes any worries that you may have. The soft glow due to the light and colors of the piece contribute heavily to the pleasurable tranquility that it exudes. In addition, the elderly man's dedication is very amusing to the viewer as it brings them in closer to the man's inner dialogue, passions, and focus. Photorealism art is the period of artwork that is most closely related to Max Ferguson's technique in addition to his scenes of isolation and stillness. Photorealism evolved from pop art and was a counter to abstract expressionism and minimalist art. A prominent painter of the photorealist movement was Ralph Goings. Ralph Goings, like Ferguson, painted scenes of tranquil isolation that surrendered to life's quick pace. Goings' painting, Ralph's Diner, mirrors many of Ferguson's pieces, especially his work of late night solitude, Frank's Diner. Both of these pieces, as well as time, expose the gentle harmony in loneliness and serenity. Unlike the other two pieces, time emphasizes the significance of dedication to the moment and one's passions. Edward Hopper, a painter of an American scene, can be identified as another greatly influential factor on Ferguson's work. Hopper's painting, Gas, emphasizes isolation and loneliness. Both artists allow their figures to echo the inner sentiments of peace in the moment and remain isolated in the passions as if where time were standing still. I strolled through Crystal Bridges on a rainy Saturday I glanced at every other painting with interest and an occasional smile. It wasn't until my eyes met time that I felt a deep sense of curiosity and attentiveness to the work. I froze in admiration, and it was almost as if I was absorbed into the stillness of the piece. I first noticed the various clocks all set at different times, and the thought of the relevancy of hours, minutes, and Max seconds Ferguson taught me through this piece that no matter what the time or day, what you are passionate about is what matters. He reminded me to stop and enjoy the moment, and most importantly, he brought peace to my soul as I stood in front of a man as invested in his craft as his peace. Art is slow and interrupts worries, bringing time to a momentary stop. If I could sit down with Mr. Ferguson today, I would shake his hand and thank him for expressing these ideals through an avenue that words cannot explain. Art.